Welcome back to The Good Talk, the show where we discuss what's hot, what's grot, and everything between in the wide world of Warhammer. It has been, we don't do these much these days, frankly, because the release schedule has been so stretched out. But GW decided, hey, let's release uh, pretty much the two biggest factions for the studio in the same day. So we're here to talk about them. We do have a separate review where we go through the entire uh, books individually, page by page. Mm -hmm. So definitely recommend checking those out as well. Today, it's going to be a bit more freeform. We're going to be talking about what we're excited about, what we're worried about. We have some questions from chat we're going to be taking. And of course, if anyone is joining us live and you have questions, we have the books here physically. Ooh. We can bust them out. And uh, let, let's talk about our feelings. My name is Adrian. What's your name? Oh, I'm Bridger. Oh, hi, Bridger. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing all right. Yeah. 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 Big okay. day. Weird That's, day. It's it's a... Uh... I've had time to prepare. Yeah, that's fair. I think a lot of people have been commenting on my emotional state. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or my outward appearance. <laughs> but I've had time to sit with this book and accept it. Yeah. Um, and not everybody has. So a lot of people are in a very jarred emotional state right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm not. And that, that might yeah. freak them out a little bit. Yeah. No, I've just had it for a while. Yeah, I think it's it's... Yeah, you have no illusions about the book, mm -hmm. um, but you've had a bit of time to process. So I think, let's do this. Let's do this first, yeah. because I think, again, we have full book reviews, mm -hmm. uh, which are quite long videos. Yep. But I think for the folks who are just maybe tuning in just today, why are people upset about this book? Um, why might they be? We're not going to focus on that today, but sure. I think, like, let's just talk. We kind of suggested, but maybe right. they might not know why. Yeah, let's, I guess let's just get it out of the way. Yep. If you were to directly compare the index to this book... We pretty much only lost things, and we lost yeah. everything. Um, so a lot of things that made Custody strong, uh, fight first, mm -hmm. bringing back Custodes, mm -hmm. a lot of the cool character abilities, um, yeah. everything that Trajan does, all of that is gone. Yeah. Um, all of our defensive stuff that makes us more durable, it lets mm -hmm. us get up the board because we don't really have shooting. Mm -hmm. Pretty much all of that is gone. Yeah. Um, what we get is some sister stuff. Not enough to actually make Sisters of Silence, um, good. Yeah. That's part of my issue <clears> with that, is like, it shows a kind of a lack of understanding of the game. Mm -hmm. Lore-wise, I think it's awesome. We've wanted more sister support for a long time. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm, makes sense mm -hmm. that they kind of work in tandem. But they didn't give them, A, more, more models for the sisters, or B, better rules for the sisters to right. make it actually interesting to do what the book really, really wants you to do, which is take Sisters of Silence with uh, Adeptus Custodes. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, I see what they were trying to do, but it, it feels like a big miss. Yeah, and it's also, I think a lot of people are disheartened. So there's four detachments. Okay, yep. One of them is purely Sisters, which yeah. I don't think necessarily belonged outside the Crusade section. The Sisters have, like, one kit. Mm -hmm. The Rhino is the same kit. Yep. They have Aleia, which is cool. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like we it's need not to a line. It's units. not a model line. It it's can't be a detachment. A whole detachment out of four. And then Talons of the Emperor is. I actually, I, I like this as a concept. It's yeah. custodies and sisters fighting together. I think it's very cool. I think if you had just given us literally a sister with heavy weapons, mm. if we had sisters with las cannons, I'd be like, yes, let's yeah. go. Like because that's a rule that you don't jam. necessarily have. It kind of fills, yeah, right. fills it out. And so the two remaining detachments are shield host which essentially doesn't have a detachment ability. It's once per game. Yep. And it's the kind of thing that other people get just every turn. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a character detachment that says only your character models get anything out of this detachment. Yeah. So those are the four detachments in the book. That's why people feel the way they do. Um, it's weird to see this book come out at the same time as that because that's an awesome book. This is an awesome book. And... Well, let's put a bit in context. What do, we mean, what do we mean by awesome? This book is awesome in a lot of different ways. It is a very strong book, so competitively, very strong. Mm -hmm. I think, um, as you mentioned, there's things that are once per game for you that are basically all the time here. Mm -hmm. We, too, have uh, detachments that care about characters, but they say we care about units with characters yep. in them, not just the character themselves. So there's weird distinctions that are just way, way stronger in sort of equivalent things. So it's a very strong, competitive uh, uh, book with several good detachments, but it's also very fun and flavorful. Even the like lesser powerful uh, detachments are really cool, they're interesting, mm -hmm. they actually kind of work with the units that they have listed in the book. So I think this is a very well-designed book um, from all those perspective. If mm -hmm. you're looking to play just silly games or narrative games or competitive games, it's gonna it's gonna work well for all three of those audiences, mm -hmm. and so 
in some regards, you look at these books and you say, okay, well, this was clearly written before the battle tactics changes, before mm -hmm. the devastating wound changes. I understand that. What we don't understand is why, how these two can be made at the same time and coming out being so diametrically opposed to each other. Well, and it seems like the orc, the writer, or the team of writers, whoever yeah. put this book together, really had passion about orcs. They understood, yeah. what do I want my orcs to do to be cool? Like, why, mm -hmm. why do I like orcs? Yeah. What makes orcs fun to play? What makes a game feel like an orc game? Mm -hmm. That feels very lacking in this book. Where, yeah. like, in the index, they, they, they even had, like, design team statements. They had, like, these articles, these written statements about, like, you know, we design the characters. We want the custodies to be about the heroes, mm -hmm. the, these characters, and we want them to feel big on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give them all the time abilities and these once per game abilities so that they have their moment to shine. Mm -hmm. And they just went back on that in this book. They were like, ah, just take most of that away. Like, they didn't, they didn't really need that. <laughs> it's so weird. It is weird. <sighs> it, it's, I don't get it. Yeah. I think there could be FAQs in the future to say, fix some of the problems. Not all of them. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so, so, yeah. Okay. That's that's kind of a high level what's going on with these books. Um, I know we have, we have questions we can take. Uh, I guess I want to say... What I'm excited about in this book, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm I'm really, as I said, really excited about this book. This is probably more than I would have hoped for for the orcs from the orcs. Um, I am, from a competitive standpoint, very. Oh, thanks. No, no, it was in the Oh, okay. Oh. Whoa! So we we saw the preview. Only see the pre. That's cool. Is this still in studio mode? It is. Yeah. Wow. All right. Now let's let's show the folks. Uh, so what excites me about this book? <laughs> are a few things. We just came off the game of playing the Bully Boys, which I absolutely adore. I think it's a very strong, very fun detachment that also lets you play a little bit more elite, potentially, um, which is always a, an issue with orcs if you don't want to hurt your back. Let's prop your book up with my book. Oh yeah, that seems appropriate. Speaking of uh, breaking your back, Green Tide is back once again, and it really breathes life into a data sheet that wasn't used a ton, the boys, uh, and it is explicitly boys if you're watching now. You know, uh, this does not affect Storm Boys, Burna Boys, mm -hmm. uh, Beast Snagger Boys, because those have the incorrect keywords. So it's, it's the just boys the unit. Boys. Yeah. This one's for the boys. It's for the boys. Um, and again, this one's very strong. This one's probably more strong than fun in some <laughs> regards. Okay. Uh, but it's <laughs> awesome. The Dread Mob is a really fun detachment where you, the way this, do you know how this works? How does it work? The way this works is uh, whenever you go to uh, shoot or fight with a, is it, is it fight as well? It is. Shooter fight with a mech, orcs walker, or grotz vehicle unit. You can roll on this chart and gain one of these abilities. You try that button. You try that button. That's a great name. You can get sustained, lethal, or crits give you AP 2. Um, or you can pick one on the chart, and then gives your weapons hazardous. And if you already have hazardous, oh. you hazardous on ones and twos. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. It's awesome. And then the strats are kind of similar. There's a, a whole series of strats um, where they have an effect. And they say, also, you can choose to push it. <laughs> and then they define what push it means, and it gives you an extra effect that also hands out hazardous. Do you, can you also push it real good? You can push it real good, Bridger. <laughs> <laughs> and there are ridiculous abilities. This one's against a monster vehicle, plus one to wound. But if you push it, plus one damage. Woohoo! Right? And they're just cool, they're fun. I think this detachment could go, could go competitive, it could go narrative. It's just fun. Um, Cult of Speed, I think is, I, I'm not the most enthused. I think this is a really hard sub-faction to design around. Well, this is one we were worried about. Yes. <clears throat> we sort of predicted, like, speed wah has always kind of been a thing. Yeah. And whenever it is a thing, it's like, ooh, I, I don't know, like, is this is a problem? <laughs> right? It's a, it can become an oppressive shooting, because they have decided to focus on shooting, which they do continue here. It's about uh, advancing and, and falling back and still being able to shoot. Sure. Um, one thing I think they were smarter about is that they were a bit more cognizant of, of like where war bike course would fit into mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. and kind of rewarding you for doing that. Um, things like shoot and scoot with a unit. Because of the way all the vehicles work and the, and the characters that has to be on, you can only mm -hmm. really do those bikes. Right. So it's hard to abuse. So that's cool. The big hunt is fun. I think it has some issues. Well, how many detachments do you get? We get six. We got okay. six. Okay, that's no further question. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And and the last thing I'll say is they did not hold themselves to having to do the clans, um, which is right. Great. I think this I is a smart. great breakdown. 
I'm surprised they did the Bully Boys, um, but I'm glad they did. So it's, it just seems genuinely like a cool book. It's a great book. I'm really excited it about it. It looks fun. Yeah. Are we going to see your squig off back on the channel? The squig off. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh, it's not a ton of support for the squig off, as far as I oh. know, unfortunately. Um, it always gets the short end of the stick. If they gave it, like, be snag a keyword, then you could use it. Um, but the stompa, very interesting. The base profile's not changed, but the strats that you get, mm. good mm -hmm. support. Something I've noticed as a trend in 10th edition is indexes, codexes, factions, what they've liked to do mm. is they've said, here's an idea, here's a hoop. We're just going to give you a hoop vaguely, broadly yeah. speaking, and then when you jump through that hoop, we'll, get, we'll sprinkle in like a little, like a little mm -hmm. something, something. Mm -hmm. So like Death Guard, it's a plague objectives because that's their army rule. Mm. And that was a hoop that's so weird to jump through that like it just... No amount of something something was going to make that mm. worth it sure, yeah. because it's so rare and hard to make it happen in the game. Yeah. The hoops that you're jumping through here for a lot of these attachments are cool and flavorful and things that you don't mind doing. Yeah. And they give you cool bonuses. Exactly. The hoops that they gave us here are just lame. I feel like... They're mm. not even like the Death Guard thing where it's like, well, that's never going to happen. Yeah. I can make it happen. It's just, I don't <laughs> care. Like... <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> Like the the Talons detachment, yeah, is sisters next to custodies. That's the hoop, right? And the benefit that you always get is that your stratagem affects both units. Oh, but how how often are you going to use a strat on a combat custodies unit and a sort of kind of shooting sisters unit next to them? You can take the great swords. <laughs> But then they both have to be in combat at the same time, and uh, you have to not have the custodies kill the thing that the sisters are fighting? Yeah. I, I just, I, I don't think they really... Yeah. And we've seen this before. Like, Admech also has weird hoops that you jump through that don't feel good. Correct, correct, it's, yeah. It's been in the whole, it's been perpetual through the whole edition. It's very, yeah, it is very similar to Admech. Um... Where it's like narratively understand mm -hmm. why why it exists, but the translation to the game just does not follow through properly. Right. I understand the narrative motivations, but the narrative motivations don't match the mechanical motivations in the mm -hmm. game. You know, there's a disconnect. Yeah, there's a disconnect. And then the orcs, very much like the Necrons, are like, "Hey, you want to do your thing? You do that, so you and do you're your gonna thing, get yeah. extra things when you do your things that you already want to do." Right. So you get bonus points for being cool. Yeah. And that's what we all want out of our codexes, and that's why the Necron book and the Orc book are so beloved, mm -hmm. is it's like, you just want to do your cool thing and feel good about it. Yep. And exactly. the only the only thing they need to do to make that happen is point out your cool thing mm -hmm. and give you a meaningful reward for it. Precisely. They didn't do that here. <laughs> oh. Well, before we continue, <clears throat> I would love to take some questions from chat. If you have any more, feel free to send them in. Uh, there is no super chat minimum or anything. Just shoot them in and we're, say hi. we want to chat. That sounds awesome. We can take our first one from Simon Byrne. <laughs> this came in during the game. Simon yeah. Byrne was one of the first ones that pointed out that, Adrian, you didn't get your cool CP reroll on the first one. I know. He lawyered you so good. He, he did. did. He did. And, and he was right. He, like, pulled out his briefcase and was like... But, and Simon says, Monica. this is my punishment for denying Adrian a CP in the first turn. Adrian, how excited are you to push the button and push the button? Faster on every single unit. That's I'm so, cool. so excited. That's it's so gonna cool. be awesome. And we have some hardware that we're working on right now. That's gonna be really fun to do. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna, yep, push a uh huh. We're gonna push a button. Yep. Will it have like a flip case, like a like a? Oh, that would be funny. Like a big red button. It's like you gotta protect us. So you don't push it the wrong. Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Ooh, we might have to do that. So you gotta be careful with that. That'd button. be dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm very excited. Thanks, Simon. Yeah. This. This was the detachment that I had specifically called out I was hoping for. I was like, hopefully mm -hmm. we get uh, a Tin Ed's detachment. Yeah. And we did. And mm -hmm. it is. Ho, 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 ho. So thanks, Simon. And speaking <laughs> of uh, things that will be happening next week, we did put up the vote, right, <gasps> in the Discord? That's correct. Right now, <clears throat> if you're a member, you can vote on what orcs we play on Tuesday. I put all of the detachments, including the one we just played. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you're a member, you can go vote for that, influence that in Discord. If you're not a member... Now's a great time. Could be them. Choose what we what we play, and then come check it out on Tuesday. So that'll be uh, a, a fun, kind of more intimate look at the Orc Codex. Right now, the total for the day is 151, which leans Team Odds is for the win. Oh, <laughs> team odds we can't let that. 
persist. We are yeah, yeah, yeah. killing so one it. One so more, we'll please. We'll just leave that there and say thank you, Mark Wynn. Oh, it was happy water. Yes. My friends, bully boys seem to be strong, but thoughts on mech guns, morconauts, and gorkonauts in Dreadmon. Maybe even my new stomper. Shout out to Mark. Uh, awesome wor uh, orc player, Drakari player. I thought you player. were a Drakari player. He's both. He both. Dude, he took uh, he took orcs to LVO last year. Mm. Last year. They all blend together. I know. It's all starting to blend. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Or Mark, Mark's keeping it real. Um, yes. So mech guns, I haven't thought about too much actually, but the Morkonox and Gorkonauts, um, I think are super interesting. Most of the stratagems in this attachment work on Titanic. The only ones that don't are the one that call out Gretchen unit and the, the minus one damage, which is fair. Um, but yes, you can, for one CP, give a Stompa or a Gorkonaut Morkonaut full hit rerolls or plus one damage. Plus one damage, I will remind you. In shooting? Shooting or melee. You oh, no. Could... Sh no, shooting is plus one damage. And shooting full hit rerolls. But there's a... <laughs> But there's like a 40 shot gun on one of those. Oh, you can also do plus one damage in melee too, yeah. Yep. You, mm -hmm. you, but, you, that, but, that's, mm -hmm. but that's unreasonable, mm -hmm. Andrew. <laughs> it's so wild. An auto cannon is two, two damage shots. Yeah, 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 yeah. You staple together 20 auto cannons. <laughs> and you get to reroll all your hits. Um, 20 shots with a super gatler, which is already two damage. It goes to three. <laughs> Oh, I love it. And then uh, the Gorkonaut and Morkonaut stomps, I find hilarious. You can go to three damage. 15 attacks at three damage with their sweeps. What? Yup. That's a rule that exists. Uh, well, <laughs> hey, uh, there's Primarchs with one damage sweeps, so. I know. <laughs> Justice for the lion. <laughs> so wild. And Morty. His is, sweep is one damage? Yeah. He's, no. He has like 21 one damage attacks. So or 14. Sad. 14 one damage attacks. It should at least be 21 one damage, if anything. Uh, but yeah, I think the the uh, Dread Mob is this the detachment that spans the whole range from like, can be mega casual, can be very competitive. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. That's cool. Thanks so much, Mark. Thank you, Mike. I've been painting and facing furiously for a month to build my company of first St. Ive Lancers for Battletech. I am working on a Warhammer as I watch 11 out of 12 mechs. Vallejo all of drab is better than blue. Oh. You take that back. Wow. You take, well, words. I do disagree, but. But this is what I'm doing for my... Uh, it has drab in the name. I know, I know. It but, is drab. But that's my guard color. Okay. Are you... Are, are Adrian. I know, I know. No, no, no. I said, Like I said, I, I disagree with the statement. But, like... Oh, like, we're gonna need to get... All of drab is pretty cool, too. You're saying you see the merit in all of drab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, <laughs> blue-green is still better. Blue-green is best. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Look, wait, when you dress up as Olive Drab for Halloween, yeah. yeah, then we can talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> we can fair. have a face off. It'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> Love it. Thanks so much, Mike. Thanks, John McArdle. Pour one out for custodian. No. Look, there's a bunch of pictures in here. They they like retrofitted. Yeah. yeah there's all of these. Uh, yeah. All of these imperial skeletons that they've retrofitted as custodies. <laughs> Um, really just to let it sink in that, um, we're dead forever. The death of the there's, faction. No, that's... That could be a more. custodian skull. I swear there's one more. Skeletons in armor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were just like, what if all the Imperial skeletons were custodians now? Because, uh, we killed them all. <laughs> yep. The message is pretty clear, folks. Thanks, John McArdle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So far. Thank you. Black Onion. Oh, hey. What's up? Since Adrian said we are in the hyperbolic chamber, let's get out some hyperbole. Oh. <laughs> is this the worst the custodians oh, have been? And is this the best Killicans have ever been? Oh. Also, Rip Flashkit. Dude, the clown, I was thinking about <clears throat> you. They killed Badruck and they made no changes to the Flashkits. Which that shows also a severe lack of understanding of their game. <laughs> Because you would never run flash kits if it wasn't for Badruck. Uh, so that sucks. The, in every book, something has fallen through the cracks. Yeah. Which is like, that's how the game, you know, there's a million to units. Yeah. 
And it's a small team of people that makes each book. Mm -hmm. And they might not necessarily have the experience or the passion about all the units. Yeah. They might not have passion about any of the units <laughs> in some cases. By coincidence, a whole book, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think Flash Kids have had their time in the last, like basically since launch of the, of the edition, which has been fun. And uh, I, and unfortunately, I don't think they're going to, they're, they're not going to get fixed. Like, you can make them cheaper, but they needed the rerolls. Like, even if they just rerolled ones natively or ones and twos natively, <laughs> so bad. it's just like, it's just not enough. So, um, yeah. that's the only thing I'm sad. I, I understand getting rid of, like, all the resin stuff. Makes sense, but like you gotta adjust the units that like we're relied on them. Um, Non-resin, but Snickrot finally got loan operative. Ooh! So now he's actually like cool to take without having to take commandos. Yeah. So I'm and he deserves it. He's a sneaky git. He's a sneaky git. Is this the worst custodies have ever been? Yes. Wow. They, this codex has been described by many prominent Warhammer geniuses of our time <laughs> as the worst codex in many years. For custodies or in general? In the whole game. Worst codex that, in at least five years. Wow. That seems... It's real bad. I mean, it's bad, but that seems... Should we play them against Death Watch? <laughs> <laughs> right? You can't have me play both. Yeah, <laughs> we can. True. That means yes. we'll make Lil B play the Death Watch. Is it worse than Admech? It's worse than Admech. Admech shoots. Is so it worse? Yes. Admech actually can do things. Is it worse than start of edition Death Guard? Ooh. Well, that wasn't a codex. Still, that was a time. N neither is Death Watch. I think, like, I'm trying to decide. The the thing that is really putting like all... Custodes players on edge is this is this might be it. This might be what we get for the edition. Right. And that's why people are so concerned that like, I mean, when it's code when it's bound in hardback. Yeah. It's done. Like they did it. <laughs> Now what? That's the concern. And this is the pain that Admech players have been feeling for a while now. Yeah. Yeah. Dark Angels. But at least they can just, like, tear off their Dark Angel patches and pretend to be Space Marines. Yeah. Right? Hey, like, hey they are Space Marines. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. I think we were discussing right before the, the stream, there's a lot of cool ideas in the community right now of mm -hmm. how to fix the faction. Personally, I think... I don't expect much other than like fixing some of the battle tactic issues and maybe giving the protection against devastating wounds. Yeah. I think they could, I think it warrants bigger changes, but I, I'm not expecting anything more than that. Well, and points can change, but. Sure, yeah, yeah. As all Custodes players know, we don't want this to be a Horde army. Yeah. And with these rules, it has to be a Horde army to be competitive. Yeah. And that's lame. Horde Stodies, let's go. <laughs> no one wants that. <laughs> We'll sell more models, I guess. <gasps> yeah. Thank you, Zaconian. Thanks <clears throat> so much. Thank you, son of Olympia. <laughs> Perturbo isn't looking. Go custodies. Go custodies. They Thanks. went somewhere. I think Perturbo would like of any of the space marine of the of the loyalists. Custodies are one of the ones he would like identify with the most. They're very like all about S perfection. Stoic and yeah. always a little grumpy. Always a little grumpy. Always a little grumpy. Let's be real. Yeah. Um, look, Stun Olympia. We'll get we'll get a great game between them and the Death Watch. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Thank you, Nibs Indie Gaming. So I've answered this a couple times in chat, but Adrian, show off your shirt. Fun Captain fact, Crumb. this is from Redbubble, and I imagine they must have gotten a cease and desist because <laughs> they no longer sell it. But don't worry, another version of it is for sale on T Fury. <laughs> but Redbubble's a great place to get uh, weird Warhammer shirts. Highly recommend. <laughs> I love it. This was it say stays crunchy even in blood. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> That's gross. And it has free teeth inside. <laughs> Oh my god. I love Cap and Crump. They de yeah, I'm sure they got a season this is so <laughs> they, there sure. was many critiques on the fact that Cap'n was spelled with a C though. Yeah, yeah. That should be a K for sure. I know. It's kind of But it's also a play on Cap'n Crunch, guys. Yeah, it was not GW that did the season to see. <laughs> it was It was Kellogg. Oh, well, that's what I mean. It was definitely the enemy that is Kellogg. Both sides. Too funny. Both sides filed lawsuits. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, both? Both. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks so much, Nibs. Thanks. Thank you, Seed Roots. Please at least tell me Custodes Dreadnoughts are back on the menu. Ooh. TT, I can take an aggressively mid codex as long as the fun, cool units are back. Well, nothing about them changed. Yeah. So I have not confirmed. I have not checked confirmed or anything, but Atesh messaged me. Oh, our good friend who plays Custodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was so hard when he was here. Yeah, the number one Titans player. Uh, what do you think about vehicle heavy talents? Does it inspire you? It's like it's whatever. No, I mean I like tried. so. What's the talent bonuses again? Five of feeling pain against mortals and psychic. Oh, that's horrible. That's the detachment ability. Sisters get plus one to hit, wow. but they don't um, have guns. So okay, never mind. Yeah, know, that's I'm the just, thing. It's like not. It's, the it's not a lot in this book that like inspires creativity. I I was actually the thing that did inspire creativity in me was the character attachment. I thought, what you know, what if like, what if just like twelve lone characters? Like, right. can we make this happen? Yeah. No. Um, it's no. a lot of work to just make them like mediocre. Right. You know, and that, and like. Today, it was like kind of interesting to see because like you could do weird stuff where it's like I have big blocks and you just have characters, but like they just do nothing. It's mm -hmm. just not enough in the current melee situation. And against shooting, obviously, they're also lacking. Mm -hmm. I, I <laughs> was also curious to see how Axis would actually play out. In some ways, Mega Knobs are the perfect target. They have three wins. Mm -hmm. In other ways, they're not the perfect target. Yeah. They have two up save. I think that's going to be the problem for Axis with everything. It's like, why do you want the Strength 9? Why do you want the 3 damage? For the same reason that AP 1 is unacceptable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That fixing the, the minus 1 to hit, cool. You didn't fix the other two problems, which is, is it has less attacks. Mm -hmm. And the Strength doesn't matter, because we have reroll wounds in a million places. Mm -hmm. Or plus 1 to wound. Yep. And anytime you need 3 damage, they have a 2 up safe. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. So that Axis, was interesting. I think Axe is back in the trash. IMO. I kind of, I kind of agree. To be honest. Willow in chat is saying that grav tanks. Caladius grav tanks. Yep. Back again. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> they. I mean, the th like they don't have like real rules though. That's like. Well, but what would they benefit from in here, right? Like stratagems, detachment abilities, you know. Let me, let, me, let me see. What, what, what do the talents do? Let's, 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 uh, I'm about they, to solve your codex. They could move six inches when you move within nine of them. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's like the, the face wolves. It's like face wolves. Yeah. Um, talents. They could get a four up feel the pain against mortals and psychic. You can shoot or charge in when she fell back. Mm hmm. Shooting phase. Oh, you can give extra AP and strength. Oh, that's infantry. This one's not infantry. What is this one? Feeling pain against psychic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fight face. Okay, so not. Willow, what detachment are we thinking about here? The character detachment? What? <laughs> no. The shield host is the only other detachment. And it's like somewhat and it's, generalizable. It's, um. This one makes me mad though when I look at it. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So that's the thing. It's like the, the all the forge world stuff is virtually unchanged. Yeah. Um, you can give them lethal or sustained. Which they already have in the on that's yeah that's their unit ability. <laughs> I tried. That's it. I can't solve the book. Thanks, Siege Roots. Thank Thanks, you. Andrew Middlemoss. Are we going to see a twenty-four Thundercab versus twenty-four Squid Hog Boys Whoa. over the next couple weeks? Oh my god. <laughs> I have eighteen? Oh my god, I have twenty-four. Every time we think we have enough, someone says I can run more. Can okay. you play twenty-four? So it's so it's eighteen regular ones. And then two characters in each, that's 24. Oh. Plus Canis, so you can actually run 25. Are we counting the wolves that pull the sleigh? No. Well, it's that is a, one of the models. Yeah, it's that's not one of them. Oh, that's one? That counts as one? It counts as one. That's yeah. one? Th I don't yeah. I feel like yeah. I should be at least one of the half. So 20, 26 and a half? Every time I blink, I suddenly need more Thunderwolf Cav. No, no, you actually have the correct amount built, I think. <laughs> we gotta paint them. Uh, that I matchup was. Difficult Rough. already <laughs> Rough. Uh, for wolves. Uh, yeah, Andrew, do you want me to get stomped and turn in one turn this time? Squid Hogs got juiced. They did. Although the, the Great Hunt might be cool because not all the benefits will matter into you, and they won't get. Uh, they could get sustained. There's a strat for that. Yeah, but yes, we're definitely gonna do Space Wolf Orcs. 
The, actually, yeah. I was no, I was thinking about this, man. I was thinking about this because obviously, Space Wolves your favorite faction. Obviously, yeah. it works in my favorite faction, and it was kind of hard to like play together before. But now there's a lot different ways to play orcs. That could be interesting. <laughs> I just feel like Adrian's like, do you remember that time you kept beating me? It's time for retribution. I know. I keep wanting to play Mel, but she's dodging me. Because I, because we saw what happened when I played orcs on stream. But they'll be different now. They'll be different. They'll be better. They'll be a stompa with. They'll be bigger <laughs> and four better. Four guns. <laughs> the dogs are cowering. <laughs> Send up the bear. Send up the bear. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Well, Andrew, I don't know what I did to hurt you, but I guess that's going to happen <laughs> at some point soon. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you, Willow. Mm. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about Warden's Guard Grav Tanks. I'd like to see some hero games, but don't really have a lot to draw on personally. Very much mm. focusing in on three Warden, two tank Kaladis stuff. Yeah, Warden, yeah. Uh, Willow's fighting a good fight in chat. That's got to be Shield Host. There is a reason we ran Triple Wardens today, uh, because despite them hitting a lot of the powerful things, the two of the most powerful data sheets, they did not hit at all, mm -hmm. which is the regular Custodian Guard mm -hmm. with four rerolls and shoot twice once per game, <laughs> and the Wardens with the four of Feeling of Pain. Yep. Um, those are still probably going to be mainstays, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I think we. And that's why well. I'm hesitant to go too far into Forge World, is like, we have two of the best data sheets in the game. Yeah. It's the re the rest of the package is what's missing. So like, don't yeah. don't be cutting on your wardens and guard to bring things like dreadnoughts. Yeah, because your dreadnoughts are not going to outperform wardens. Yeah, wardens are still nuts. <clears throat> I mean, they held up. They held up against the disgusting onslaught today. Um, basically, it, I had to wait until you had your Philippines gone to, to, yeah. to kill you. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to it, though. Um, we can. You, you were like you said, you were the most excited about the heroes detachment. Yeah, it's the one that like brings me the most joy of the four of these. Mm. I, I still want to see talons. Like, if you bring sisters as attacks in rhinos that just follow around, and that okay, another thing. Mm -hmm. That's not how you make sisters cool. Yeah, you don't just be like, well, what if they tagged along and carried their backpacks for them? Like, no, <gasps> sisters should do something. They can fall out. Other than just stand there. Yeah, I agree. Rant over. No, it's good. Well, thanks so much, Willow. And just like from the chat, I saw Antu said, I dusted off my orcs after two years for this codex. So it's really awesome to see people They're being brought cool. back to the love of the so orcs. So cool. Uh, Adrian always is dusting off different units of orcs. I know. I have 12 more Mega Knobs to paint. Um, and in, in line with uh, Bridger's comments, yep, rumor has it, the female custodies in the fluff. Bam. I saw posts about that online. I... I don't know. They're in the name generator. Yeah, there's like there's like fem names if that's what you're referring to. Liliana. Yeah, there's y a lot of like. Yortar, names. is Yortar a female name? Yortar. Yeah, traditionally Yortar. I don't. I think like it's. If it is cool, like I don't. They're ju they're not even human anymore. Yeah. Like I don't think we yeah. should be making a a big deal either way. They're gross monstrosities of flesh <laughs> that go into battle in a ton of armor. A literal ton of armor. Like, cool. Is that why he looks so plasticky? He does look very... <laughs> I don't know, why does he have a mohawk? Just shave your head, dude. No, mohawks on old men is really cool. I'm gonna... Is that mohawk cool? It's like, it's the suggestion no, of No, that one's not Wait, cool. Wait, is there an orc name generator in this book? Yeah, yeah, they both get. Do you get your tar? Oh, you guys should generate your name. Do we need dice? We, need we dice. do need dice. I'm going to get dice. You get, I mean, you're not going to be your tar. Your tar. I mean, have you heard of Fark Snot? <laughs> <laughs> you beat your tar. That was quick. <laughs> We're going to pull up Glam Cam. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, how many names do you get? I have to. I got a front bit and an of a bit. <laughs> Okay. Here's some dice. Oh man. We just need what do you need? I think I just two. There you go. Tiny like that. Like it's it. a classic GW D sixty six. Okay. Classic. Okay. I'm gonna put up Glam Cam. We're gonna start with Adrian's orc name. Orc name. So this is for me. This is gonna be my front bit. Let's go. Uh so first digit, four, five. Four five. Squig face. Love it. Squig yes, squig face. Five, three, squig face, stomp crumpa. 
Oh, Whoa. that is a tough yeah. name. That's an intimidating name. For a tough person. All right. All right. Well, there's two halves. There's a custodian guard half and a sister of silence half. Oh, that's half. awesome. Uh, let's try the custodian guard half. All right. So my first name. Yeah. Which is my... Chosen name. My cho I chose this name. Yeah. It's 6-2. Six 6-2 two. Six two is... Monastus. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Monastus. <laughs> Monastus. That sounds like something that uh, NPC, NPCs in Age of Empires say. Monastus. Oh, it does sound. Yeah. Monastus. Yeah. And now this is your honor name. Oh, I earned this one. One, five. One, five. Monastus Desh. <laughs> <laughs> Monastus Desh, y'all. That also sounds like the kind of thing that they say in Age of Empires. Right. If you order a unit, they're like, Desh. <laughs> Desh. 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 And uh, I should get a sister's name. Oh, you want someone sister who name? wants a femme name, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so this is the four name. Okay, okay, okay. One, okay. three. One, three. Ooh. Uh, Van Lorica. You oh, sorry. Want, that's no, this. Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa, spelled in the future way. In the Love it. Alyssa. Future way? Yeah. There's all kinds of letters in there. Three. Three. Oh. Uh, one. one. Three, one. Shade. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a, a shade. Cool oh, that's so cool. Ooh, I like my name, Alyssa Shade. It's like a superhero name. It is a superhero name. What the heck? That's fun. I enjoyed that. <clears throat> right, right, name right. Name generators are cool. Well, you all saw the, the name generators. Roll one up and let us know what you get. Yeah. And the armories are back. That's the other cool thing in the in the oh, codex yeah, is yeah. it's back. Is in the lore pages, they have the pictures of like all the weapons and the names. and So fun. Yeah. Some of the books that feels very mandatory. Yeah, because like, you don't really the know. Like, book, you're like, what? What do my gons look like? So. Oh, look, another dead custodian. Why are they all dead in this book? You know I mean, what? it looks cool, but... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, but he's super dead, though. What? There was questions during the game about whether there's good crusade rules. Yeah, honestly, custodian. I haven't had a chance yet. Or orcs. I mean, they put some cool crusade rules in, like, like non-crusade rules. There's badges. Oh, there are badges that you earn. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> um, so... Uh, orcs get stomping points. <laughs> um, there's also this. We can look at. Yeah, let's bring up going. Do you get battle down. scars? Um, oh, orc eruptions. We get eruptions. But first, we got the stages of the wall: the gathering, the escalating, the thunderous, and the all-conquering wall. And your stomping points determine how far you are there. And then, what the heck is a eruption? When a wall forms, two things are certain: <laughs> <laughs> it will cause Im immense destruction. And it will be fraught with infighting, risk-taking, and unpredictable calamities. <laughs> yes. After a battle, if your wall is at stage two or higher, you must take a ruction test. To do so, you take a leadership test using your wall boss leadership, applying any other modifiers, and you roll. If it's failed, blah 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 blah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh yeah. So if basically it's like to the degree in which you fail. So if you fail, but not on a double, it's only a minor ruction. And if you fail and it's a double. You get the major things. ruction. So like ruckus and deranks. Select an, uh, an orcs infantry unit from your order battle. They gain one battle scar. Hey, hey. battle scars. Uh, that's awesome. Rowdy youths. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then um, agendas, of course, requisitions. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Do they have like the super shaka? Usually that's where this would be. Stompomatic pistons, shaka hull, fungus fuel injector. So cool. Um, Crusade relics, here we go. Chop of the Great Wall, the Redder Paint, the Crushing, oh, these, are, these are like old uh, artifacts, old relics and stuff. Glowy Gizmo upgrade, so cool. Honestly, we're getting close to being able to actually do some Crusade now that we've had six codexes, I think. Yeah. So, very cool. Also, shout out to the OG Gazcole art. Love it. How about you? Uh, look like? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fairly similar. It's a lot of the same themes. Um, so we have uh, things that we're trying to do. Oh. So we have our... <laughs> That's gone. Uh, so we have our endeavor imperatives. These are things we're trying to do. And then we get rewards for doing them. Martial supremacy. Yep. Uh, we get dishonor. Did you, did you, were you able to get dishonor when you lose? No, we just have fights. <gasps> Lions, not wolves. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, because we fight alone. We don't fight together. That's the... Oh, that's true. Wolves fight together. Lions fight alone. That's yeah. the thing about custodies. Um, <clears throat> we have agendas, which are different things we're trying to do. 
and then requisitions, oh. which we get for doing the things. You can earn the name. You can earn a mime. Oh. But that's also the name of a stratagem. Oh. Uh, we have traits that we get. It's pretty cool. And they're different for like who you are. I love the names. Yeah, the names are cool. Janalchemic warning. Warding. <laughs> <laughs> Will of Armite. Who's Will? Well, it's Will of the City Oramite, you know. That's true. That Will. From once he hails. Um, <clears throat> we get Crusade Relics. Of course, they always put Constantine Valdor Spear in here. Oh, that's cute. Even though we shouldn't have it because he <laughs> took it when he left. Right. Um, there's more of those. More, more artifacts. Emperor's Allspice. Back. <laughs> that's the Epoch Allspice. Oh, that, sorry. That Allspice lasts for exactly one Epoch. Different Allspice. Uh, and then we can... We get our badges. And the badges. We go up from half of an Age of Sigmar shield to a full Age of Sigmar shield to a 40k shield. You have to graduate from Sigmar to 40k. <laughs> so true. That's that's my Crusade section. Awesome. It looks honestly pretty similar to previous Crusade rules. Yeah. Um, with some fun stuff thrown in. Yeah. That's cool. I well, like it. Jumping back to Super Chats. Thank you, Cobra. <laughs> hey, Titans. Will there be a Table type Titans tournament this Ooh. year? Oh, absolutely. Um, this year, with the new edition, it kind of threw things off. Um, but yeah, 100%, obviously. obviously. Obviously, I don't know if it'll be summer again. Normally it was fall, but we kind of did it earlier for, for, the, for the edition. So who knows? Maybe spring for feeling spicy. <laughs> but yeah. We gotta do it every year. Yeah. Every year. Yeah. This time it'll be like the T T T T T T T T T T T T T. I know. We gotta think of a name. This will be number five. Well, luckily five still starts with. What just happened there? You okay, there, buddy? You okay? Were you about to say five starts with T? What? Put five. Four started with F. I don't know. Well, because four we did tetrad. Right. So this will be Tabletop well, Titans. Well, Penta is five. Penta. The... Th We're gonna have to get creative on this one. Well, it could be three plus two. Three plus... Th well, but plus is a P. Three... Is there a T word for and? Mm, it's gonna be tough. Maybe there isn't gonna be one this year. <laughs> <laughs> All because we couldn't come up with a name. Yeah. Definitely gonna need your help with it's that. The most important we part. could just yeah, yeah. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth. The fifth. Excellent. Thanks so much, Cobra. Thank you, Peter Kosterman. Rules aside, how is the lore and art in the books? If you Ooh. have had time to read it in the lore section, anything new from previous books? Uh, have not had a chance to read through the lore yet. I definitely plan on it. Um, the art is super cool. Yeah. Um, I think there's a, a few new pages pages of art. Uh, we can do a quick glance yeah, on this. Yeah, let's go. Take a look at the yard. Like, this is a really cool bust. Oh. Like a speed freak. Um, <coughs> which is awesome. Uh, How many see. dead orcs are in your book? Not any. What? They're not depicted as dead ever. <laughs> uh, I love all these little, like, doodads. Um, that was a dead orc? You just pointed at a dead orc. Oh, that's a dead orc right there. <laughs> that's a dead orc. Uh, this is a classic. Um, yeah, a lot of the little symbols, I think, is a lot of the new art. Um, oh, I think this is new. So cool. Look at, you can see Gork and Mork up there. Whoa, they're huge. Yeah, well, they're gods, Bridger. Huge. Yeah, but yeah. doesn't mean they're not huge. Hey, look, it's the bone splitters. You can play them in 40k now. It's just not Sigmar. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> kind of like a dead orc, Bridger. Yeah? Yeah. But yeah, the art is super cool. Um, I'll let you know once I've read through the lore. I feel like they've been more conservative with the the section, um, in the sense that like there's not a ton of. New Wait, Captain Bodrox. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, I know, no, no. He gets a page, but he doesn't get rules. They shout out several characters that aren't here, so he's here. He, he's not there. Uh, Z Zodrog does exist, which is good because it's a new model. Mazrog. Oh no, he's in it. Yeah. What was the other one? Oh, Dagstruck. Rip. <laughs> it's just like why you remind. Oh, look at this one. Looks so cool. Oh, that's cool. that's awesome. Hey, three forty eight. Well, as we said, the yes. armory page is back in these books, so that's that's always nice to see. Look, it's just a glove. Oh, that's cool. It's a glove. Ballistus grenade. Oh, is this the Terminator grenade launcher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. And then, what I like about this book is it has the super old art. Yes. Um, this is like before they knew that custodies were going to be a thing. 
Yeah. They were just like, I don't know, let's do some crazy, wacky 80s perspective. And then the axe is the biggest thing in the picture. <laughs> oh, it's huge. They're like, what should make the custodians different? And they're like, I don't know, make them really tall. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, big hats. Really big hats. Big hats. And I don't know, demon babies. And <laughs> for some reason, their hands are huge. <laughs> <laughs> There's this weird Admic guy. I know, he's like, yeah! <laughs> this is, I mean, this is also before Admic was a faction, too. Right. right? Like, yeah. This is the artwork where people would like do these really cool like kit bashes and conversions to make these factions that we just take for granted now. God, they're so cool. There's kind of a lot of old art in here. This is old art, too. I'm so glad they're, they're doing the old art. And then this oh, is a pretty famous shot. That's what the... That's the Shadow Keepers in the Vaults of Terra. What? That's, that's underground? That's Mega Prison. That's so... <laughs> if you're here, you're um, never getting out. Yeah, that doesn't Unless mega prison. you're a naked world eater, and then you just punch them to death. Christian in chat says that's third edition rulebook art. Oh, the... yeah. Probably the black and white one. Yeah. This, this one? one? Yeah. Third edition? Third edition. Because didn't exist in... But they could be in some codex. Yeah. So cool. And Armories. our friend Quipster is in chat. Uh, oh, what's, what's up, up Quippy dude? Oh, Quipster loves custodians too. This is eighth edition art. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm a dreadlock. <laughs> <laughs> it's such good. Uh, I just love the art. I think the art is the best part of these books. Yeah. Ninth it's, edition it's art. Such a cool faction. <sighs> oh, man. Thanks so much, Peter. <clears throat> Thank you, Leeks Veeks. Hey. The Custodes Cotex is like the Tau one. They've attempted to make a not well rounded sub faction is a core way of playing your army. Mm. Would have been fun bonus in the codex with five or six detachments. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think I think that's actually a really insightful way of looking at it. They try to take or make a sub faction in an army that doesn't necessarily have enough or or or, or, or you know, you know, it's not really a thing. Um, and again, conceptually, it's cool. In the lore, it's always about the sisters and the mm -hmm. and the and the misters working together, <laughs> but um, lore-wise, it just doesn't. I mean, game-wise, it just doesn't execute properly. Yep. that's the thing. I think that it's it. It almost seems like they ran out of ideas for sub factions. Yeah, which which is weird. They had so many great ideas to draw from. Right between eighth edition Psychic Awakening and ninth edition, the shield hosts were dope. Yeah. You didn't have to use the names. Of the, you've renamed so many things in this book. I know. You could have just taken the concepts of the shield hosts. <laughs> Not use the names and called them other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. GW, I, we need to have a chat. It's very, very strange. I think there's a good question in chat from Lucky Imp that says, as a new player to the game, should I get into Custodes? I love their lore and design, but I also don't want to lose against my friends all the time. Mm. I am always of the perspective, you pick your army based off of the army you love because the mm -hmm. rules will change and do change. Mm -hmm. um, so... I think if you have decent friends that you can you can power level match mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and make good games rather than going for an army that's not your love. But what do you think, Bridger? Well, it's also worth mentioning custodies have been and probably will always continue to be the lowest barrier to entry army in the game. Yep. They are the cheapest per point to buy the plastic. Um, the assembly is relatively straightforward. The painting is, I would say, definitely the most straightforward out of anything. Um, so given that it's the lowest barrier to entry, and you find them cool, yeah, do it. Like, do, get some custodies, paint them up, see how you feel about the models, play some games, see how you feel about the game, mm -hmm. and then make decisions from that point. Be like, okay, cool, I built and painted like a thousand points of custodies, I played some of the game, I found out, maybe I don't like Melee. Because I, I started as a Tau player, and I painted up like 2,000 points of Tau, because I just thought, well, it's a, a game where when you have longer range, that's good. You should, <laughs> if I can shoot you and you can't shoot me, that's great. And then I found it was super boring. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, I, they don't get to do anything. That's not cool. And now I play the exact opposite. So just like explore your path, find, discover mm -hmm. yourself in the game. And it, it's not going to be a super expensive mistake if this isn't what you like. So yeah, yeah give it a shot. Yeah, I think definitely pick pick after what you like, but also kind of to what both of you said, definitely don't pick something just because it's good. Right. Because that is the first thing that falls apart, yep. and then you are left with nothing. So, you know, even if you end up not doing custodies because they're not uh, strong right now, I think that can be okay. But definitely, if you do pick something else, don't pick it just because it's strong. 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? By like, the time you finish the army, it won't be strong. Anymore. Yeah, there's that spectrum, and it, go, it ch goes and it changes so fast. Take it from people who have played this game for a long time, it's not worth it. Yeah, I haven't even played this game for a long time, and I've been on highs and lows of Space Wolves. Yep. Like, yeah. like, luckily I love Thunderwolf Cab right now, but there's going to be a time in which Thunderwolf Cab are not going to be good, and I'm still going to yeah. be happy to have my wolves on the on the table. Exactly. So, I don't know. Uh, Lucky, hope that, hope that helps. It's just something I, I think is always important when codexes are at a, a low. Mm, yeah. But thank you so much, Leaks Veeks. Also love the name. <laughs> Roadkill, first super chat from Roadkill. So much love. Hey. Artie Moore said the Custodes Codex is the worst they've seen in five years. This is yes. true. They didn't yep. say that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, it's a compelling statement. It, 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 the book doesn't do anything. It doesn't. You're like poking it with a stick and you're like, do something. And it's just not. <laughs> it's exactly what The it book is. doesn't do anything. That's uh, <sighs> such a shame. Yep. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the support. I really <clears throat> appreciate it. Yeah, we were watching Art of War this morning. We were indeed, yeah. <laughs> uh, friends over there. Thanks so much, Roadkill, for the super chat. Thank you, John McArdle. The other reason this codex is so much more disappointing than any other, like, say, Admech, is because Admech was bad to begin with <laughs> and also tried yeah. to sell us the Sisters of Silence as a full army. That's the thing. So people are like, oh, Admech was so bad, and, and they're not wrong. But at the same time, it's like, but you can't argue that they are better than they were before they got their book. That's true. And they have more options. In this case, they are worse than before, and you have actually kind of less options. Yeah. So, yeah. 100% agree, John. Yeah, I, the whole Sisters thing, like selling it as its own army, I don't think the GW corporate was trying to do that. I've seen a lot of people make these weird conspiracy theories about, well, we've been, tr we've been making all these Sisters kits, so you gotta buy them. They haven't. <laughs> the, right, there's a Sisters kit, and they've been putting it in things because they want Sisters to be alongside Custodes. And I think in a healthy list, you do have some Sisters sitting on objectives. Mm -hmm. They've done nothing to make Sisters compelling as a full army. Mm -hmm. It's like, what if Guardsmen only had Guardsmen and Chimeras? There were no tanks. Yeah. It was just Guardsmen and Chimeras. And you can't have heavy weapons teams. You actually only just get more Guardsmen and Chimeras. <laughs> That's not an army. <laughs> That's Sisters of Silence. <laughs> And yeah, Willow makes the point <clears throat> that she believes that if there wasn't a sister's detachment, there would just be three detachments. It didn't mm. take the place of anything else. Could Very well could be, yeah. I think that's fair. Yeah. This is a book that you could have said four detachments, and you would be like, it makes sense. Makes more sense than four detachments for Tau, I'll say that. That is a <laughs> giant army with only four detachments. Yeah. But those are four distinct <coughs> and interesting detachments. These are four... Detachment things. <laughs> yeah, so. Thanks so much, John. Thanks, John. I appreciate the Hopefully support. Hopefully you caught us all in your cowboy hats last night. Oh, yeah. He Yeehaw. might not have. Yeehaw. 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 Thank you. Disgusting the Resilient Podcast will attest oh, hey. I'll take release Death Guard over the Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> take it from a, a, a Death Guard connoisseur. <laughs> I know. Is no army rule better than a bad army rule? <laughs> I mean, I guess because there's hope. There was hope for the Death Guard. Yeah, kind of like Bridger was saying. This is this is bound. This no, is that's it. a hard book, yeah. hardback book right there. This is where we're at. And oh, look that at hasn't Death Guard stopped them before. <laughs> I know. I know. Thank you, Disgustingly Resilient Podcast. Thanks so much. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks so much, Noah Rain Rainiger. Oh, what's up? GW doesn't want Custodes to be the budget army anymore. Go the Golden Horde. Golden Horde. Oh, I really don't want that Let's to be. Go. Horde Stodies. I mean, of all the Horde armies to paint, that would be the best. You're not wrong. But like, just <laughs> rattle It would be hard to fit on the board. They I take know. up a lot of space. <laughs> Seriously. Shane, Shane had uh, just kind of uh, updated his Custodes. He needed some more models, and he was like, the great thing is, you, if you buy models that people have painted before, they're going to look pretty dang close to what you have. If He has some really nice custodians, which we played with today. He has some that he painted himself. And this kind of just fits with both because it's all, all gold with an Agrax wash over it. It's great. And, and like a red accent. Pretty much everybody yeah. has gold with a red accent. It's like, woohoo! Easy peasy. <laughs> yep. What's probably going to be good, though, is if you are a custodian player, I imagine there's going to be some cheap, cheap, cheap Ooh, goods on eBay. That's true. And they're probably going to be painted to your color scheme. <laughs> it's a fair bet. Good time to invest. <laughs> <You know? laughs>
Thanks, Noah. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Noah. Thank you, Zlack Onion. I had a monastus removed <laughs> last year. Thoughts and prayers. Are Luda's in the Dread Mob with Buff Max, the new shooting infantry hot? Are Luda's back? <sighs> no way, dude. Luda's, Luda's are so weird <clears throat> for me because so they have a, they have a rule mm -hmm. which sounds amazing. Yeah, it's rerolling ones to hit, full hit rerolls if the target's on an objective. Okay. That does sound amazing. But they are default hitting on sixes. <laughs> and they have heavy, so you go to fives. Well. If you don't move. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's that's a thing. Um, they are cheap. It's uh eh, no, they're not cheap. They're ten points a model. Um, that's cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap for a gun that's that, cheap. Technically, it's three, it's Two shots going to three if you're within 24 inches. Do you want to put it up on the glam cam? Strength eight, AP <clears> one <throat> for two damage. So they're like weird auto cannons. They're weird auto cannons. They hit on sixes. And then, um, of course, they do have a mech, so you are going to be eligible for these um, strats and such. Um, so you can give them a stealth, which is cool. This one is whatever. Uh, ignore cover. So this was actually one in in my review. I called this one out as being interesting for. Uh, Luda's because AP1, as we were just talking about, it's an AP that's easily affected by things. Mm -hmm. Armor Contempt, uh, Cover, um, so Ignore Cover is actually really nice with them there. Wait, and this is the detachment where you could press the button? Yeah, you could press the button. Which you could give them sustained. Um, so when you're only hitting on sixes, that's terrible. Mm, when you're only hitting on sixes and you reroll everything. No, no sustained here. We're pressing get... the button? Oh, is this the press the oh, button? sorry, yeah. this button. I thought you were talking about pushing Yeah, no, no. It. Press the button. Yes, sustain is cool here. So, oh, okay. okay. So now, six is reeling everything is essentially fives. Six is reeling everything, and every hit is two hits. Now we now we, we kind of have a real thing. Ooh. Now we're talking about yeah, cooking with gas. something. I like it. I like it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think that's fair. I'm looking at these strats. Uh, walker, walker, grots, walker. Okay, yeah, so it's just this. It's no strats. But, um... That's, I mean, you're basically a space marine at that point. You're, you're basically hitting on threes. You're basically a space marine. I'm into it. Um, you could also do funky stuff where... If you didn't do the ignore cover, you could do this, which lets you get two abilities. So you get sustain and lethal, which is hilarious. Um, but... Now that's... Jim and chat is thing. highlighting that they've been watching content and haven't seen this part of the Orcs book yet. So. What?! Potentially, wow. maybe, if I'm reading it right. Okay, okay. Well, but they just said thank you. Of course. There's so much of your help. book. I know, there's so much book. And again, we do have an Orcs review. I go through every single rules page. Um, I kind of flip through the art, but that's a good chance if you want to get some Oh, you covered there. art? I didn't cover art. I know, I know. I didn't know I was supposed to cover well, art. I wanted to make my video just a little bit better than yours. <clears throat> you did. But yours is doing much better than mine, so. Ha-ha! Well, let me tell you, people have thoughts about Custody's book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the comments are... Look, they'll watch for one minute just to leave a comment about yeah. how upset they are. They, well, they mostly were concerned because they thought you were being held hostage. <laughs> I did look like I was being held hostage. <laughs> Thanks so much, Slack Onion. But yeah, we'll definitely try Luda's. There's so much stuff to try with the orcs. We're going to be playing a lot, a lot of orcs, and we'll make no apologies about it. Thank you. <laughs> and stream. Uh, thank you, Stephen Whitman. Theory, all Imperial codices will be bad to represent the Imperium losing ground. Rip, my banana boys, your abs your a oh, okay, your abs are oiled and glorious. Oh, yeah, look, they can never take that away from you. But the Space Marine book already came out. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. no, it wasn't bad. Yeah. But everyone else. Although they did nerf Oath with that one. It needed to be nerfed. <laughs> it was too much. It was ridiculous. Um, sisters are one of the next books. We know GSC, Chaos Space Marines, Sisters, and there had to be another one. Because there would be four. Oh, was it Redacted, maybe? It's kind of like the that's next bundle. That's a good bundle. one. That's my redacted. favorite book. I know. It's redacted. So, Sisters, we'll see. Nah, obviously, obviously I, I don't think they're doing it on purpose. Sisters, Guard, Blood Angels. Well, I'm just talking about the ones that they've announced um, for this like year, because I think they announced all the way through summer. Um, That's soon. Summer's, summer's soon. Coming up. Yeah, I can't confirm. Uh, it's cold outside, though, so no. I know, it's raining. April showers bring May flowers. You keep yelling that at me, and I'm mad. 
Well, because it was like March, and we're like, it's sunny, it's great. And I'm like, this too shall pass. This because it's not April spring. yet, and April showers always bring May flowers, which means that there's going to be rain in April. It rhymes. Therefore, it, has it to must be true. Be true. Yep. <laughs> well, another one from Steven. Thanks so much. Custody still have some play. Shield hosts have some good strats for shooting that works on tanks. Talons look still like a pretty good attachment. I'm excited to try out comboing Vigilators and Wardens. Yes, there's still <laughs> lots to try. Obviously, this is just first first day, first impressions. So much to test out. Um, see, people are really excited. For th we the, there, tanks. there are things that I want to do. But first, I want to see an FAQ in points changes. <laughs> uh, well, thank goodness. These are the real books. They're not in a box set, which means actually these are going to be a tournament legal before the towel. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, take that, towel players. You never get a book. That sucks. We're, we're just going to dangle realize. a book in front of you and then take it away. No. Could you imagine having to play with old rules that are oh. not out, but they are because they release the book that way and you're just like that sucks, you're like man. I could in the future be able to do this but not yet right oh uh, man that sucks. Uh. I'm so sorry um, but yeah we'll definitely test this stuff out mm -hmm. thanks so much Steven thank you Kaldor which codex has the most flavored, flavored? <laughs> dark angels or custodies Bridger please elaborate I don't really read the dark angel codex um I, I can see what they were going for in here. I think they were attempting some flavor. Mm. The art is beautiful. I, I think we'll take the flavor win, and Dark Angels can take the chaos win. <laughs> is that good? This is actually really cool, like... Whoa, this is new, isn't it? It looks like old new. Yeah? Nold. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, this is a though. special edition codex. Yeah, that's Mel? not fair. That's an unfair advantage. Do the special editions? It says Dark Angels on it. Yeah, yeah but it's all fancy. It's so fancy. All right, let's 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 take a glimpse at the art. Okay. I'm, oh, because this is an art comparison. I'm well, this is a flavor. The glam cam. It's a flavor, flavor. comparison. Yeah, you got you to gotta let the, the, right, you gotta let the people, the people see. decide. All right, well, that's that's pretty cool art. Man, I, this is, I have a tough time with this glam cam because everything's upside down. For me. Mm, you're doing great. Okay. Oh, pretty cool. Okay, that's not art. Oh, nope. none of that's art. Oh, that's cool. That's not art. What? Look at that sword. Um, what? Yeah, that's pretty lame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the unnamed. <laughs> what? <laughs> they who shall not be named. Right. All right, you got like some people. Oh, they yeah. got people pages. That's cool. Yeah, it's that's kind of cool. He's got a big. He's bird. got a raven. He's got a big bird. Raven. Oh, he's got like a whole crowd of birds up here. Wait, how are they doing that? <laughs> Well, they're the Raven card. <laughs> what the heck? Whoa, we got a two-page spread of Angron. Angron versus the Lion, classic. <laughs> that doesn't. That doesn't. Okay. Yeah, that can't happen today. Well, also, why is Angron getting that much attention? Right. This is like all about <laughs> like this, most they, of the two-page. They spread. took the the picture from the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I love but it. But it does represent how the Lion plays. This <laughs> yeah. this wins points in my book. I think I think they got they came out ahead there. Oh, oh, I haven't seen this one actually. This Bastion. This is against um. Wait, Necrons. What's the heck? It's like green. Why does the Necron place have crenellations and like flying buttresses? Because they're coming. They're coming up from the ground. This is a sick piece of art. Oh, there's a monolith back here. I gotta say, this is pretty flavorful. You see that, you see that monolith? Oh. Wee -wee -wee -wee. That's really cool. Uh, we got Mr. Lion. Yeah. Why is all their art of Lion? <laughs> Like, we have Trajan, not all of our art is a Trajan. Lion is daddy. Safer. Oh, that's cool art. Hey, look, it's a Custodes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a dead dark angel. Look, it's got raven wings. It does have raven wings. <laughs> oh, look, oh. another dead dark angel. Oh, oh my god, no! Uh, they are, <laughs> they're squatting the Imperium! <laughs> this is how they're showing us that our books suck. <laughs> Whoa, Another, that's cool art. And it's world leaders. This is, no, these are, um, this is Dark Vengeance art with, um, it's not word bearers. Wait, that's... No, this is definitely from, from Dark Vengeance. This is literally the box set. It's so cool. So it sounds like... Their art is cool because none of it is of Dark Angels. I think you lost the flavor of Battle Bridger. I honest. think I did lose. Their art is wow. cool. I mean, they don't have as much old art, though. I will say that. That is true. I do love the old art. Old, old art is, is cool. Yeah. Well, 
Thank you so much, Caldol. Yeah, you are? Glad we settled that. We did, we did. Yeah. And we got, what I love is that someone's going to be like, oh, they're reviewing the, the books. And they're going to like jump and it's going to be the Dark Angels book and be like, these very it's not even It's not even the, the rules, it's the art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Roadkill costs eighteen hundred dollars to run a full hundred and twenty sisters and six rhinos and two characters. Yes, let's go. Oof. I don't even think because sisters they lost battle line, sisters of silence. But they get it back in the sisters only detachment. And it's like why? Why what were they what were they worried about? Why? Nobody wants to run six sisters units. Outside of that detachment, anyway. We having trouble convincing custodies players to take them in the first place. To take any, yeah. yeah. Weird. Also, uh, it is hilarious how expensive it is to buy Sisters of Silence. Yeah, that's actually kind of wild. How how much would it be to just run a normal custodies army? I mean, like six hundred dollars. It's yeah. very cheap to get yeah. two thousand points of custodies. Yeah, it's very very attainable. We do need to get some rhinos um, mm. for the sisters, mm -hmm. and then maybe another squad. I think we have a squad on Sprue from the last box set. I think we might have a... Yeah. I don't know. We should we should get some more so we can test them. Look into it. Are they going to send us the combat patrol? Um, We'd have to ask for it. They're not in the combat patrol. They know we're not going to play it as combat patrol, so they probably won't send it. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, are you guys doing this for a combat patrol video? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Definitely, oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Andy, you're not watching this video, are you? <laughs> <laughs> Just like when we asked for the Kill Team box, it's like, oh, you guys are doing Kill Team? That's great. We're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one with new scouts, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're, 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 we're in the Kill Team right now. <laughs> well, and the last one we have so far, so if you have any other questions, send them through. We've got Cobra Commander, Fridger. Oh, Cobra? Perhaps more Fab Stobies are what you need to take the sting out of your disappointment over the Codex. Imagine that as a Horde army. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're more representative of how fragile we are now. Yeah. It feels more appropriate to just be oiled up and naked. So true. Might as well at that point. Yeah. I like all the, I like and appreciate all the support that the super chats and the comments and, and chat is giving you today. Yeah. These different coping mechanisms. It's a very supportive community. Um, yeah. I've seen a lot of people take the news different ways. And I'm glad that there's like a core contingent of Custodes players who are just going to stick it out. Yeah. Wait for an 11th edition. <laughs> your sign off, I watched your sign off for your review. You're like, everyone, it's going to be okay. Don't burn your armies. <laughs> Which is the thing you have to say It now. is the thing that you have to acknowledge. <laughs> Don't sell your armies at a loss either. I've never understood people who just like are constantly buying and selling armies to chase the meta. I don't mind if you want to chase the meta. Yeah. But don't, like, give up on this thing that you've had. Like, don't just throw it away. Yeah. We have so many friends that do that, though. It's, um, it's astounding. It's wild. Well, those are all the questions we have so far. Or, awesome. Uh, oh, nope, one just oh. came in. Oh, hey, what's up? I'll hey, bring it up just a yeah. second. No worries, no worries. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to wanna touch on. Um... I'm just really excited for this book. That book looks awesome. It's awesome. It kind of makes me want to play orcs. Uh, yeah, Ooh. everyone can play orcs. Look, Brian's getting into orcs. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be an orky time. Orc. Orc days. It's going to be orc versus orc. Uh, we, I actually do want to do that. We actually need to do orcs versus we should, orcs. We should do it. And we can because it's so different now. It's like two completely different styles. Oh, look, that's an orc face. That's, that's gork or mork. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, thank you, Zach Onion. Does Bic Mech in Mega Arma still give a 4-up invuln? He does. 4-up uh, invuln against mm -hmm. shooting, which I w I've been trying to think about would I use them and where would I use them. Um, I think it's not unreasonable in uh, Bully Boys. The trouble is uh, uh, Mega Knobs only hit on 4s, so, and the, the War Boss gives them plus 1 to hit. Which is kind of important. It's important. It's kind of important. And they can't both join the unit, huh? You, no, they don't have an exemption, which I kind of wish they did. I think that could be kind of cool. Um, so that that's my one thing. Um, I don't know if they res. They used to res someone from the squad, which is funny. A Big Mac? Yeah, they like rebuild them. <laughs> they fix them up. What? Yeah. 
But you have pain boys. Um, yeah, they still do it. While this model is leading a unit in your command phase, you can return one destroyed bodyguard model to that unit. It's called Fix Dat Armor Up. That's really good. Right? What? And then they can also heal, once per battle, D3 wounds to someone. Yeah. Once per battle? It's the, it's the uh, Grot Oiler. Do they have the Warlord keyword for the Bully Boys? Warlord? Does, does Big Mac and MG have Warlord keyword for Oh, Bully War Boss Boys? probably is what they're trying to say. No, it's not a War Boss. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infantry character, Mega Armor, Mech, Big Mech and Mega Armor are the keywords. Yeah. Maybe attached to Mega Knobs. Um, huh. So, and then you get to reroll hit rolls of one in ranged attack, which is, which is weird. I have a question for chat, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll present this to you as well. I mentioned this in the Codex review. The new Big Mac. Yeah. Um, we could we could. We could yeah, put let's go screen. to Glam Cam. So this is the new model, which we uh, don't have to preview. Um, this is the new model. I've been a big critique of the rules of this um, in the past, and I'm I'm trying to decide if I'm wrong or not. Um, what he does is. Uh, gives rerolling uh, ones on a range attacks, fine, whatever, uh, and then the shock booster. And this is rerolling advances made for the model's unit, and whenever they make a normal advance or fallback, they can move horizontally through models and terrain. Cool. My critique, and it leads boys, ludas, mech guns, knobs. Mech guns? Ooh. That's kind of cute, giving, wait, what? Huh? What? You can join mech guns? Okay, anyway, we'll come back to that. My issue is orcs are slow. Mm -hmm. So, like moving through something when you're only moving like five, six inches does not feel good. Um, the only exception is I'm wondering maybe in like green tide or something, uh, it stops you from getting move blocked. Um, like sure. by a bunch of Tyranids standing in front of you, turn one, for example. Yeah. <sighs> I just can't, I can't decide if that's worth taking them for. Nope. Yeah. I wouldn't. Because you can take a war boss. Or, get this, the true power behind the throne, Weird Boys. Weird Boys are back, baby. No way! Weird Boys are super back. So Weird Boys with uh, Green Tide, mm -hmm. they have to jump. What? So you can, you can teleport a unit nine inches away, use the strat to give plus one to your charge equal to the current battle round, and you are cooking. And, just as an added bonus, that's the reason <clears throat> you take it, but as an added bonus, this little thing, which we all lost our minds about at the when they first when they first started previewing the edition, Ed Banger, uh, which is one shot, BS four, six minus three, one damage, precision. Mm -hmm. This ability gets plus one strength, plus one damage for every five models in the unit. Ah! So when you jump over, this is a strength ten, five damage precision shot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, so like legit, my my like green tide list is three units of twenty boys, wow. with uh, pain pain boy for the five up field of pain and a war boss, and then another three unit, each of which has a weird boy to just like jump over every Jeez. turn. It's awesome. That detachment's very strong. <laughs> it's very strong. Woo! Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> so much, Slack Onion. Thank you, Steven. Honestly, if they change Auric to work on character units instead of models and make a couple strats battle tactics, it would be a good detachment. Yeah. Th this is one of the things I've seen proposed. Yeah. However, what you're describing is a massive change. Mm. Like, it seems like a small change. Giving a character model for up film of pain for a phase worth a CP, maybe. Like, yeah. it's giving a whole unit oh, a four up film of pain. For a CP. No, they couldn't do that. That's crazy. No, 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 They're no, not no, going to no, no. do that. No, 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 no. Um, plus one to wound for, like, your whole army. It's, they're, it's not... I think they could do that. Because it's only getting one unit. But then, you, one. but then you just spend the CP, and it's another unit, and you don't actually have to spend the CP because it probably had a character uh, in it, so it's free, so you really kill... I, I, mm, look, I'm right. with you. I think it would be cool. Yeah. I do not think it's going to happen. That's probably too good. Because I think it is too good. I think the 4 of Family Pain pushes it over the edge. And even a few other strats in here, mm. I think would be a little, a little much. Yeah. I think that's a fair point. We're doing it? 
Um, so full rerolls to hit and wound against a monster or vehicle. For a whole unit would be, and it's two, it be, for two whole units to get full hit yeah, rolls. Yeah, that's true. If, if full You'd hit have to rewrite and everything. wound rerolls. Yeah. So, like, I just, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair. But we love the creativity. Yeah. Yes. I love that people are out there thinking of, look, send your ideas to GW yeah, politely and kindly. They are people that love this game just like you do. It's true. I'm watching you. <laughs> Thank you. Slink Blackout 4. Bridger, since yes. custodians are no longer are what they were, mm -hmm. what detachments do you want for Leagues of Votan and also possible models? Yeah, this is good. <sighs> I want a plane. And I want a train. And I want the plane to take off from the train. <laughs> the train yes. would be so cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but truly, what are they missing? Uh, a tank that's not a transport. Mm -hmm. um, although, maybe that we won't. Maybe they're too like space marines. Maybe they won't get that. Like, primary space marines have the repulsor. I guess now they have the gladiators. Yeah. I can it, see that. It would be nice to have a tank that's not a transport. It would be nice to have a combat unit that's not a joke. Or actually a way better shooting unit just in disguise. Like yeah. dwarves, I think everybody thinks of as a combat faction. Yeah. 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 They're not. Um, and then detachments that I would want, I don't know. I feel like they kind of nailed it with the ninth edition codex. Like, there were six really dope concepts. And they were very different, too. Yeah. I think she'd be okay with that. Yeah. They were cool. And that was one that they were able to design from the ground up because there was no pre-existing mm -hmm. like lore to kind of lock them in. Yeah. That's probably why they were so distinct. Yeah, they were awesome. <sighs> yeah. That was a good... The funny thing is, like, it released as Totally Busted and then everything changed. Yeah. That was a good book. The idea was, was great. Yeah. Yeah. Good bones. Good bones. Good bones. What a cool faction. Thanks so much, Slink Blackout. Thank you, Stephen Whitman. Where did that flapjack, our lord and savior, plushie come from and how can I get one? I was sent this by Colonel. This is why he's called Colonel Flapjack. Um, and they had ordered it online. If you DM me on Discord, Stephen, I can also send you the link. Tag. What does tag. the tag say? 180 Tide? 180 Tide. 180 Tide.com. 180 Not sponsor. Tide. <laughs> this, this comes from Santa Clara. Oh. No way! This, it is from 180 Tide. They sell plushies. They also have a pizza stingray. This is from like here. Yeah. We should go. <laughs> we should what? go and tell them. And they do have visit. it for sale. They oh my! They have a giant one. Oh. We could probably go pick it up. We could just go. We they have go a giant one. Up. Adrian, they have a giant. Oh, uh, that's awesome. It's huge. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh my lord! What? The? Oh my. Mm. That's that's weird. pretty crazy. So the 180 Tide. Trip. Huh. On a field trip, tell them how. How do you how do you approach a business like that? Like you walk in the door, you're like, "Hey, you're a small business owner. We are too." Like, how do you <laughs> right. <laughs> By the way, we what the heck have bottles of this, and we don't know who came first. But isn't it amazing? It's literally the same. The zip giant code. one is as big as like like our massive pillows on Ooh, our bed. Oh, new floor bed. Okay. Big mm. flapjack. Big flapjack. Big, Big flapjack. Flapjack. Yeah. Oh, what, I mean, we have Colonel. Would it be General Flapjack or would it be Emperor Flapjack? Emperor. It would probably be Emperor yeah, Flapjack. Emperor Flapjack. Whew, okay. I just, I'm a little excited. That's all. <laughs> That's all. I'm just very curious now. I know. We'll have to go. Field trip. Yeah, seriously. Thanks so much, Steven. Thanks, Kaldorf. Hey. Silver lining in non stellar community acceptance of new rules is that eBay army opportunities increase. Sell now, all hope is lost. <laughs> Especially for your expensive pieces. Yeah, yeah, sell those Forge World ones for sure. <laughs> Great time to start custodies, honestly. You can really, really get in on the ground level. Yeah. <laughs> this is called investing. Sound wise Yo. investing. <laughs> for sure. I mean, look, you got, this is pre-order. You probably have another month of, of really good tournament play from a strong faction right now. <laughs> That's so savage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, if you're a custodian player, you've got a month to just really get get some good games out of your system. They're literally going from, like, too good to too bad. <laughs> yeah. All averages out in the end. Yeah. Thank you, Adobo. Hey. Mm -hmm. Love the streams. Okay. Looking for advice with my custodies list in 10th edition. Mm -hmm. Should I keep them on my shelf so I can look at them better? Or keep them in my storage box to prevent damage? <laughs> no. 
I think they're beautiful models. You should yeah. have them visible all the time. Yeah. They sell cases to protect. You could get like a like a glass box or something. I don't, they make some cool storage things. They're beautiful models. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. Sometimes I have to hide my armies I'm not working on. Mm-hmm. Um, because I might be tempted to work on them or paint them. Right. But the good news is with these, yeah. you won't be tempted to play them. Because the book is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you, can, you can look them. at them and you won't be tempted to build <laughs> a, or paint anymore. Yeah. You could just have them there looking pretty. Oh, man. They are <clears throat> pretty. They're so pretty. The Crusade rules look fun. They do look goofy and so. fun and, you know. Yeah. Remember when you could get put in a dreadnought? When characters could get hurt and then put in a dreadnought? Oh, that was so cool! That was fun. Yes. That was a good time. <laughs> Still the best way to play Warhammer. <laughs> Thanks so much, Adobo. Thank you, Red X Ross. Bridger, don't worry. Custodes bounce between top of meta and bottom. All we need is one balanced data slate, and we will be back on top. It's GW so true. balancing. It, it's a faction that they have struggled to find a, a crunchy identity for. Like, yeah. our rules concept has always been vaguely durable, vaguely fighty, but everything else was just like whatever they felt like doing at the time. Yeah. Like there was a long period where you're not allowed to have rules was our rules. Mm-hmm. And that felt bad, so they had to get rid of that. Yeah. And then you kind of see it creeping back in. Like, they don't know what they want to do with Custodes. It's one of the smaller factions. It's like Harlequins. Yeah. I don't think they ever really figured out Harlequins either. No. And it's, yeah. it's a shame. Like, it's not fun to have your faction always be out of whack because your opponents don't really enjoy it either way yeah it's a hard faction to design for like i definitely recognize that however much of miss i feel like this book is um it's a hard problem to solve yeah. um definitely could recognize that yeah it's kind of like knights it's like a microcosm of knights it is yeah but somehow they've managed to mess up custodies more than knights every time <laughs> so don't know true. why <laughs> Oh, man. Well, <sighs> thanks so much, Red X Ross. Thank you, Patty of the Cakes. Oh, hey. thanks, Patty. Happy Saturday, Titans. Yeah. And all you other people. Well, you're all <laughs> Titans in my eyes, so. Lol, I'm still Team Custodes. Pre-ordered my stuff today. Sorry I missed the stream. I was at work. Hey, no worries. No worries. No worries, Team Patty. Custodes pre pre-ordering. Ooh. Wowee. Yeah. I'll bet. I've been seeing a lot of people say to vote for, with their wallet with GW and just don't buy the custody stuff. Yeah. I wonder how many people will pre order. Like with a codex like this, who's going to pre order the people box? People who are investing. Investing in the future. I, I, do, I do like the look <clears throat> of the special edition codexes, honestly. I'm probably. I like... haven't seen the cover of the special edition custody codex. Um, Have they shown it? Mm hmm. Is it good? It's in the thumbnail. It's better than this cover? Because <laughs> I. I don't love this cover. He's like oily 90s CGI. I know. Here, I, don't know. I remember I liked them. I feel like they were different art, but I could be, I could be incorrect. Warhammer Community. Boom. We're going to look at this live on our phone. Live on air. That's terrifying. Yeah, let's go. You don't want to accept the cookies? I don't want to. I never. I'm like, get away, GW. Pre-orders. They're always pushing those cookies. Adeptus Custodian. Let's see. Look at the orc one. That's cool. It's so cool. That's an old cover that's art. That's different yeah. art. Yeah. You want to show the class? No. I mean, that's not going to show up. No, Gwen can. Oh! Oh, God. Put your phone down. I'm going to get... That, like, that's cool. That's old codex art, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, what's his face with his special squig? And then... Yeah, look how much cooler that oh, was. Oh, that is way cooler. This is way cooler. That's way cooler. Oh. That's worth it. That's dope. Buy that. That's cooler. That's why you pre-order it. Yeah. Ah, oh, so cool. Cooler codex. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Just for the art. That one's actually cooler than the Orc Special Edition. Huh. Well, yeah, because you didn't get new art. We got new art. Does it come with a tassel, though? Because I want the tassel. The book it does. It, they, it's gilt pages, at, pa a unique art cover, gilt page edges, and a black ribbon marker. Perfect for those who see choppas and red trucks when they close their eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love that. Well, Patty the Cakes, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Green Tide reroll ones to save applies to all orc models that are 10 plus. Mm -hmm. Enhancement that makes them count as 10 plus. Give it to my boss and my big mech. Yup. 
Mm -hmm. Yup, so, so you can have a two up re-rollable armor save. That's obnoxious. It's very obnoxious. It's beautiful. I, I I might be in the camp. I don't know. I I think I'm one of those people who thinks the rerolling saves probably just shouldn't be in the game. Um, I'm shocked that they put it back, honestly. Uh, in an army that's going to have a ton of bodies and roll a ton of saves. Well, yeah, it's it's also like not... You think of like, okay, let's put reroll saves in the game. Yeah. What army do you give it to? I think orcs is pretty low on the list of factions that come to mind. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're not the most durable thing out there or like re-rolling saves isn't there well it's yeah the, the, the it's, it's not the about the save. It, that's weird i would be even even being like oh they get cover or something because there's just like a mass of bodies mm -hmm. re-rolling saves is very fiddly right non-orc especially yeah, ones yeah. yeah let me roll my dice and then let me pick off my little one and then re-roll it's like what and you're probably rolling onto like a five right obviously in some case you can get a two and then like, then it's cool but like Generally, it's like, oh man, kind of just a pain, and it's like mm -hmm. worrying, about, mucking about with things that not ought to be mucked with, right? It's like very unorky. Very unorky. So I, I agree, it was a weird rule. You I know who it. would get something like this? Kostodish? Maybe. Yeah, they would love. They would love. To it would be this. obnoxious. It either would be so dumb. It would be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I don't want it to happen. I'm just saying, if you were to think of a faction, yeah, you would think like <laughs> Grey Knights. They have weird magic armor. Yeah. Thousand Suns have weird magic armor. Mm -hmm. Death Guard have weird magic armor. Weird armor, yeah. Custodies have weird yeah, magic. It's like you, you think like what faction should reroll saves? Not orcs. They don't even have armor. Yeah. They're it, naked. It is weird. But I, what I do like about it is, <clears throat> you know, again, shout out to the orc book. Um, as as Jay mentions, that second half. So the first half of the ability is invuln saves on boys. Mm -hmm. The second half is just any orc models. So it's generalizable. It's a lesser effect, but it's generalizable to any orc unit. Which I like. And it's like, you're going to build a lot of boys, but like, there are reasons to take other things yeah, and you yeah. can find cool things. I, I like that. I, I like that. Yeah. So, thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Jay. Thank you again, Zlack Onion. Hey, can hey. I request a mech with SAG with Ludas to get those sweet JC Ruby rolls and sustain for the Tuesday game that is looking like Dread Mob? Dread Mob! Let's see. Take a quick yeah, look. How's that vote going? The vote is going. Yeah, Dread Mob is ahead at 100, and right behind it is Green Tide at 74. Oh, oh. oh sorry. Right behind it is Cult of Speed at 83, and then what? Green Tide at 74. Look, I think it's not too late to get, get your vote in and influence that vote. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. Are you surprised? I didn't think Speed Mob would be right second place that close. Look, you can never pretend to know the whims of chaos. <laughs> you can also never take the Speed Wall out of some more yeah. players. <laughs> so true. Um, yeah, if we do Dread Mob, I'll definitely do Luda's. And... The Shark Attack Gun? Yeah, you have to. You stick them in there? I'm sorry, was that an <laughs> option not to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Uh, I also want to get that new mech model. Thanks, we'll Zach Onion, and thanks for all your support across the day. Yeah, and thank you. Hang Appreciate out. It. Very kind. Sorry about your flash kits. <laughs> thanks so much, Specs. Adrian, with the huge discrepancy between eight detachment books, which CSM have you been previewed to get? And four detachment books, Tau Kasotis, are our poor GSC going to get the short end of the stick? Ooh, that's a great point. I'm very nervous about that because they certainly could go down to four detachments yeah. for GSC. Yeah. I, I, in fact, I find it unlikely that they would not be four detachments. Correct. Given how many books they've made with four, I think Votan will be four. Votan will probably be four. Let's think about what the GSC detachments could be. Um, <coughs> like, what are the distinct identities? I think Rusted Claw is a pretty distinct identity. So, like, that's like Admech, maybe mm -hmm. Weird Invulns. Mm -hmm. uh, Twisted Helix, mm -hmm. Big Aberrant Mutations. Mm -hmm. um, You'll have a character thing. Yeah, character Units one. Units with characters. Yeah, Popper Prince, is that what they would call that? Ooh, yeah, popular, popular mm -hmm. Princes. Um, I think, like, Forearmed Emperor kind of thing is probably, like, a generic one. Like, I think they might... Or maybe that's just the, the kind of the index one. I, for one, dislike that they set a precedent of index detachment goes in book, and then they broke that precedent... Just at a random point along the way, they were like, well, not anymore, sorry. Yeah. What was that about? I like that. I like that they're not bound by the mistakes of the past. 
But these books were like all written at the same time. <laughs> yeah, what, that's true. what do you mean mistakes <laughs> in the past? So they true. were all together. It's <laughs> very true. Um, yeah, look, that's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I think the Tao books showed some insight in the sense that like they they moved around. They fixed stuff. stuff. They fixed yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I like that. I like that. We didn't get fixed. We just got totally different. Yeah. Yeah. You wish you could have kept it. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, can we just have the index attachment, yeah. please? Can, we, can just, we just... Can I not have a book? <laughs> I would like to not have a book for all of 10th edition. Yeah. Can I not have a book? <laughs> so true. Um, but yeah, honestly, it sounds like, I think... Unfortunately, I agree. I yeah. For GSC attachments, is probably pretty likely. But I also don't think it's the end of the world. Unless you get... Like, it's not necessarily true that you'll get this book. You could get a real book with four detachments, and that's cool. Yeah, four good detachments that are unique and different would be, would be yeah. sweet. Like, Tau... Should they get more than four detachments? Probably. Are the four that they gave enough? Probably. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much, Specs. And thanks, Steven, who's also been hanging out all day and just so bought fine. their own Flapjack plushie. Oh, oh. Titans now need a Tau Manta painted and modeled to be Emperor oh, Flapjack, yeah. Lord of all butters. <laughs> Most expensive meme ever. Oh, my God. I think you we should just me. get the big Flapjack and play then it put it Manta. on a flying stand and play it as Manta. Yes. <laughs> I'm game. And I was like, let's play Apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yes. It would be much less scary to watch moved than the actual Manta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Which Definitely. gave me heart attacks every time it was moved, and Brian loved moving it. He did. He's like, I'm, just... <laughs> I'm the game designer. I'm the game designer. <laughs> Thanks so much, Steven. Thank yeah. you, Chaotic Revenge. What are your hopes for the CSM Codex? I want the Vashdor detachment to be good. You yes. and me both. Yeah, I'm with Vashdor. Oh, Vashdor. Vashdor is best. It. Yeah, I think like um, uh, Demon Engine slash Vashdor detachment mm -hmm. seems likely, and yeah. it seems... Like, it, uh, please, just GW. We still haven't seen the cutoff. We haven't seen, like, okay, this book was definitely written after the launch of the game, right? Maybe the next one. Maybe CSM is within there. I have seen every weird conspiracy theory on the internet. Yeah. About 40K. Okay. Oh. oh, oh. But one that's, like, a little bit, then it's starting to, like, kind of sink in, uh, get, get its hooks in me a little bit, is they wrote all the books at the same time. No! That's like, I, I'm, it's, that, that, it may never, we may never cross over to where they realized that all these things had to change. If that were true, that would make me so sad. Because it's like, people have said, why don't they release all the books at the same time? And mm -hmm. I say, no, that's not reasonable. You can't release a quality product in <clears throat> that much volume. And GW said, hold my beer. But if they, like, <laughs> took the worst of both worlds and yep. put them all at once and, and then, then spread them, them out, over time, that would make yep. me very sad. Well, <laughs> we're going to find out. <laughs> every, every day that it wasn't changed is another yeah. day in favor. If we're 12 books in and we get a detachment with no battle tactics, <laughs> then and we'll a, know. And a free, free strat, free strat. <laughs> there's, there's telltale signs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopes for the CSM Codex. I hope that the uh, Emperor's Children are not in it, because we're going to be getting a book. Oh, that would be dope. That would be cool. Um, well, I mean, we, we wouldn't know if they were in it or not. Because they mean? don't, because they don't, like the Space Marine book doesn't have, like, chapters. chapters. So, okay, in the index... There was there's something weird about the Emperor's Children already. There was yeah I remember that. It was like yeah yeah yeah. They get called out as a keyword. Yeah. So then they're mm -hmm. kind of detached already. Yeah. So I but I agree. I'll bet, I'll bet they'll get a book. Yeah. Um. So that's a thing. Uh, I'm really curious to see Alpha Legion. I would love. I would hope for like a cool Alpha Legion detachment. I have hope. We've seen so many cool uppy downy sneaky detachments. They've all been fun to play. Yeah. Just give me the same thing for Alpha Legion. I'll be happy. Yeah. Um, so we want Demon Engines, Stealth Detachment. Yep. There's definitely going to be an Abaddon Terminator, whatever, detachment. Yes, Black Legion, baby. That's never going to go away. Make that one cool. Give me Bully Boys, but for Abaddon. Yep. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. There will be a weird Word Bearers-y, yeah. like, doing the preaching with all your, your, your crazy priests that aren't priests. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like, I would really like Iron Warriors to be a thing, because that's just a cool army. Something around... It's like Dorabla? Yeah, something very Dorabla. 
I'm not. There's a lot of ways they could do it. They don't have much of an identity to me. I th I really liked what they did in the last book. They just got overshadowed by um, Black Legion and Emperor's Children, mm. um, where they had like you could make a really cool tough character. They had a minus one damage strat, which actually made like Legionnaires decently tough. They just got overshadowed by the others. So if they did something similar, I wouldn't be unhappy. You wouldn't want yeah. like an Iron Storm, would you? No. Oh gosh. Because no. that is their. But that's what I liked about the previous one is it was like it's good for vehicles, but it's also interesting for their regular troops. <sighs> but you're right, that'd be my fear. Yeah. Because I hate Iron Storm. That's what it would end up being. That's my fear, is it would just be. Yeah, it's kind of funny that we always revert to chapters. Like we're so used to chapters having strong <laughs> mechanical identities yeah. that we're just like, well, I don't know, if I had to make like six detachments, right. I would probably just make the six chapters. <laughs> I think for Marines it makes sense, though. Yeah, you know? and it is what they did with Space Marines. They just took the names off. Them. With Guard, I don't want that, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, Guard doesn't have... Exactly. Yeah. What if they did that? No. <laughs> actually, actually, hold on, go back. I actually do want chapters because I want to play a full Catagen army. That's what I want. But they specifically don't want that intent. They were like, I know, I know. we took the label off the jar so that you could play anything. No, but they're wrong, so fine. <laughs> well, Maybe out, it'll be the last book of the edition, and it'll be like preparing for 11th edition where all the chapters are back, and they're like, guess what? Catagen Army now. And I'll be like, yes. They are going to make go. They, there's no way in 11th edition they perpetuate this anything is anything no. nonsense. No, no, no. It's, it's, They'll go back. This is, this is it. This is like... Complicate, way too complicated, way too simple. Way too complicated, way too simple, and you can just see the patterns. It's so, it's so clear. Guaranteed, okay. eleventh edition is gonna be nuts. So we're on the way too simple arc. We are. Yeah. Wow. I know. Ah. It's I'm, it's hard to put it in perspective. Yeah. But every army right now just has the same three rules that they trade around. All the armies are the same. We. <laughs> Here's my uppy downy guys. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, wow. thanks, Chaotic Thanks, Revenge. Chaotic. Thank you again, Steven. I pre-ordered the Oric Box, the Codex, the cards, and the dice. Bad rules change. Models are eternal, unless stone cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, shots fired. It's not just storm casts that got squatted in Sigmar, okay? <laughs> it's also Orcs and mm -hmm. Skaven, right? It's A lot got chaos. squatted. Yeah. Hey, you like Beast of Chaos? Go play Old World. <laughs> uh, that's the worst one. I can't so get bad. on board with that one. It was savage. Good oh. news, we still have your army. Bad news, it's an entirely different game now. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Steven. Thanks, Steven. Thanks for the support. Oops, already read Specs, but thank you again, Specs. And Cheers. Then, uh, K Katie Dice just sent in some, some love for Appreciate their, well, I'll their send first it right back. super chat. Hey. So thanks so much. Send it back to you. That's all we have right now on Super Chats. I'm, I'm picking that up from Lindsay. I've been listening super to her. Super Chats. Super Chats, that's how she does it. <laughs> well, thanks so much. If you have any last second questions, now is the time to send them in. Absolutely. While Adrian tells us a bit about what's coming up. What is coming up? What's we coming have up? so much stuff. So Tuesday, obviously we're playing Orcs. We are playing uh, something that's being voted on as we speak by the members. I know. Um, so that's gonna be awesome. And frankly, we're gonna play a lot of Orcs throughout the week. Mm -hmm. um, definitely let us know if you do want to see Custodes. It's gonna be a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't want to focus on things that make people sad, um, but if people feel strongly about wanting to see them, frankly, let us know in chat, but also in the comments below if there's a particular custodious thing that would be compelling to you. Otherwise, we're going to be focusing on the Orcs Codex next week, which will be which will be fun. So definitely join us for that. Uh, we'll have some hobbying to do as well throughout the week. It's going to be very fun, very exciting. Um, and a big shout, a big thank you to everyone who came out today to support the channel, to support the armies. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, I think that's, is that it, friends? I think we're going to catch you all next time on the Tabletop. Bye-bye!